Carla and this is my student. Hi. Okay. Um, welcome to Speaking Master and uh, always enjoy your study here and I hope that you will improve at the end of your stay here. Prescription task we're in this focus they will learn it inside the class from Mondays to Thursdays in a group class. So whenever they example here we have the relative clause. It's not just the basic sentence that they're going to use because our main focus or goal is to help our students speak better and longer sentences. Inside the class, of course, we still teach the grammar rules. Mm -hmm. What are the rules of this grammar? Mm -hmm. And when they, they're going to pick some questions to practice inside the class, mm -hmm. using those focus that they uh, learn inside the class, they're going to answer its application. Mm -hmm. So the teacher will check, oh, you must use this one because it's part of your focus or task this week. And my name is Teacher Chris. Okay, out of the ordinary, what do you mean perfect? Well, we could wrap for a week on the river. Let's proceed to the next topic. And it's all about a one-of-a-kind hotel. So, those are one-of-a-kind hotel also in your countries. Yeah. Okay? Now, before we go to the story, we have to understand first idioms. Okay, and after that, we go to the story. First one. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. Mm -hmm. So, that's the name of the highest mountain. When we write the word mount, we use M-T, so we don't spell out anymore, okay? So M-T means mount in written English, okay? Now, which is the highest mountain in the world? Which is the highest mountain in the world? Mount Everest. Mount Everest is the highest mountain in the world. In the world. That's it. Try your best. I want you to have like Kishi's idea. You should try your best, okay? okay. And never give up. Right, Lina? Okay. Right, Jessica, Fabi? All right, and Kishi. So today, let's start with pictures. I prepared five pictures, okay? So since there are four students in this class, so I want you to brainstorm. So what is brainstorm, teacher? I'd like you to share your ideas together. So this is team activity. It means that you will work together. I can give you uh, three minutes to talk about what's the picture in a group, okay? So you will explain the five pictures, okay? So three minutes starts now. Break a leg. Break a leg. And what about number three, Febby? A piece of cake. A piece of cake. And number four, Kishi? Drink like a fish. And, and number five is? All ears. Okay, so we've got five idioms now. Hello everyone. Welcome to our wonderful course. Okay. My name is Jeff and I am the teacher here. Once again, welcome to Speaking Master Intensive Wonderful Discussion. Today we're going to use the intermediate level and in this book we are going to focus on part 5 and part 6. So for part 5, you'll be given 30 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to speak. However, for part 6, you'll be given 15 seconds to prepare and 60 seconds to speak. For part 5, you're going to propose a solution and for part 6, you're going to express your opinion. That's all. Thank you. 